In September 2025, a significant event unfolded in the Russian microelectronics industry. The Zelenograd Nanotechnology Center, ZNTC, and the company Industry Solutions, Element Group, signed a historic contract for the supply of a domestic lithography system with a resolution of 350 nanometers for alignment and projection exposure at the Microelectronics 2025 Forum. This agreement includes the installation and commissioning of a contemporary Russian-made photolithography instrument in addition to its delivery. In essence, this signifies the conclusion of pilot industrial testing and the commencement of serial production of domestic lithographic equipment, an event that has never occurred in the modern history of the Russian microelectronics market. In his speech, Anatoly Kovalev, the general director of ZNTC, underscored the significance of the results as a fundamental turning point in the country's microelectronics development. The tool has been designed with a 350 nanometer resolution, and its specifications have been thoroughly confirmed at the pilot production site at ZNTC. Consequently, serial production is now feasible. For the first time in Russia, there is a strategic opportunity for the industrial production of lithographic systems of local design, which is of great significance in light of sanctions and the limited access to Western technology. Kovalev also disclosed that a technological reserve has been established, which will facilitate the development of machines with process nodes as small as 90 nanometers in the near future. This level was previously thought to be unachievable by the Russian industry, which has been heavily reliant on foreign imports. The new Russian system employs the classical method of optical photolithography with projection exposure from a technological standpoint. This method involves the transfer of the mask image onto a photosensitive layer through the use of a beam of light that is directed through high-resolution lenses. The mass production of microchips, with a minimum feature size of approximately one-third of a micron, is enabled by the critical specification, a resolving power of 350 nanometers. This is essential for the production of basic electronic components, specialized analog and power devices, automation components, microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS, sensors, as well as certain types of field programmable gate arrays, or FPGAs, and logic chips that are used in industrial, consumer, and defense applications. The new Russian lithography machine uses deep ultraviolet light, abbreviated as DUV, technology. However, it differs from conventional deep ultraviolet lithographs in its approach, the new Russian lithography machine uses a solid-state laser as its light source, in contrast to conventional deep ultraviolet systems that employ excimer gas lasers, such as krypton fluoride or KRF, with a wavelength of 248 nanometers, or argon fluoride or ARF with a wavelength of 193 nanometers. This solid-state laser differentiates itself from conventional gas laser sources use, used in mainstream lithography machines worldwide by its narrower spectral bandwidth extended operational life, and higher power efficiency. The system boasts unique laser technology that was developed domestically, despite its classification as deep ultraviolet equipment. The system is mainly intended for the production of chips with a 350 nanometer process node, which results in relatively large feature sizes when compared to the most advanced global lithography tools that operate in the single-digit nanometer range using extreme ultraviolet light, abbreviated as EUV. Despite its technical capabilities being behind the current global cutting-edge standards, this Russian lithograph represents a critical stride forward for domestic semiconductor production. Some consider this machine as an eye-line lithography system. The main difference is the type of light employed. Eye-line lithography typically employs a mercury lamp that emits light at 365 nanometers, whereas the new ZNTC system uses a solid-state laser that operates in the deep ultraviolet range, providing superior efficiency, stability, and intensity. Considering the fact that the eye-line and this deep ultraviolet system operate within the same wavelength range of approximately 350 to 365 nanometers, the ZNTC machine is a modern deep ultraviolet system 
due to its industrial capabilities, light source, and technology, as opposed to a traditional eyeline system. On September 23, 2025, ZNTC and NPP Vostok, also a member of Element Group, executed a separate agreement. This agreement stipulates that ZNTC will contribute the technological foundation of its lithographic machinery to the development of serial production technologies for photonic integrated circuits. This illustrates a strategic approach to the development of not only microelectronics, but also related fields such as photonics. Self-owned lithographic infrastructure provides Russian institutions with substantial competitive advantages, allowing them to pursue unique projects independent of foreign supply chains. The integration of photonic technologies is the next frontier for high-tech progress. It is important to emphasize that this equipment will indeed be the first domestically produced lithography installation of this category in modern Russia to have successfully completed laboratory testing and be intended for wider industrial deployment. The systems that had been in use at Russian semiconductor production facilities were either outmoded Soviet models or imported with a focus on American, European, and Japanese machines that were frequently acquired secondhand in the early 2000s and beyond. The most common systems were those from companies such as ASML in the Netherlands, Canon and Nikon in Japan, as well as older American models. Nevertheless, the majority of these supplies su suddenly stopped following the 2022 sanctions and subsequent restrictions, and the maintenance of the surviving equipment was complicated by a lack of original spare parts and consumables. Huge gaps in technology define Russian lithographic capabilities at present. The competitiveness of major companies, such as Micron in Zelenograd, has been significantly impacted by the severe restrictions on the acquisition of modern Western equipment. The majority of lithography tools in the area are either severely worn Soviet machines or refurbished ASML printers with a resolution of 180 to 350 nanometers. Producing modern processors and chips at 65 nanometers, 45 nanometers, and particularly 28 nanometers or thinner process nodes is impossible with this equipment. The launch of domestic lithography tool production even if it is relatively rough at 350 nanometers, establishes a foundation for the first time in the independent serial supply of microelectronics for industrial and state requirements. In comparison to global standards, the domestic market thus acquires a local equivalent of mass market lithography systems, albeit somewhat late but with a high degree of technological independence. The new ZNTC installation and the second-hand AMD equipment, which recently came under the control of Russian institutions via a bank's crisis asset management, should be compared with careful consideration. This system is one of the used machines that were delivered to Russia in the 2010s and have been the subject of several modernization attempts in recent years. It is a lithography instrument that is theoretically capable of operating at 65 to 90 nanometer process nodes. Nevertheless, its capabilities are significantly restricted by its technical condition and its inability to acquire original software and consumables. In addition to technological incompatibility with local photoresist materials, restricted software licenses, and lack of support due to sanctions, the main challenges, as reported by media and experts, are the physical wear of optics and mechanisms. The system is mostly used for pilot batches and limited series of chips in practice, and it does not serve as a production standard. Modern lithography for mass semiconductor production is currently at 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, or even 3 nanometers for advanced processors on a global scale. In contrast to this, the Russian 350 nanometer system is classified as large process. It is primarily concerned with basic electronics, actuators, power electronics, and analog digital hybrid circuits for industry, energy, transport, and aviation. Nevertheless, this stage enables a variety of applications for computer and power chips that prioritize technological independence, cost efficiency, reproducibility, and reliability over cutting edge process nodes. 
The integration of new designs is significantly accelerated by the emergence of serial, completely domestic lithography tools. This is due to the fact that Russian research institutes and industrial consortia now have the required infrastructure to manufacture chips of varying complexity without dependence on imports. In essence, a programmatic developmental pathway is established, which includes the entire cycle, from the design of components and masks, to mass production, testing, enhancements, and maintenance. This significantly reduces the implementation time for solutions in the defense, energy, and telecom sectors, and facilitates the parallel establishment of export and import substitution channels for dual-use electronics. In summary, the agreement between ZNTC and Element Group is not merely a significant production agreement, it is also a long-awaited step toward technological sovereignty in a critical sector of the Russian economy. The new 350 nanometer photolithography tool is the first installation in contemporary Russia to successfully complete the research and development, testing, and certification cycle and commence serial production. This achievement provides Russian microelectronics with a genuine opportunity for further independent development and progress toward new process nodes in the future, despite the fact that outdated Western lithography systems are impossible to maintain and the inherited AMD installation has limited functionality. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us